Almost all of us today own a smartphone and almost all of us have social media or should I say social media has us. If you're anything like me you probably spend too much time mindlessly scrolling through Facebook, Instagram, TikTok etc and would like to consciously cut down your time on these incredibly addictive apps. Well a couple of months ago I took a two-week hiatus from all social media and I did it with the most difficult method you can implement and it's by sticking to this method that will bring you the long-term control over these apps that you desire. A few months ago, I was watching one of those videos where the host interviews a bunch of elderly people and asks them for their best life advice. And he was listening to these esteemed elders dig into their biggest regrets that it hit me. My generation will be the first to reach those grand ages and say, I wish I spent less time on my phone. And I realized I would be no different if I carried on in a similar vein. So I decided there and then to take action. Now in the era of smartphones and pervasive social media, many of us find ourselves ensnared in the addictive allure carefully crafted by the app creators. These platforms are designed to maximize user engagement, transforming what could be powerful tools into potential sources of detriment to our daily lives. While social media has the potential to enhance our experiences, the lack of conscious consumption often renders them a net negative. But this is news to no one. Many people have attempted to break free from these alluring addictions. I just decided to do it the hard way. So the typical approach is people temporarily logging out or deleting the apps. Out of sight, out of mind. And now this is all fair and well, but ultimately this is just a weakness that will show up somewhere else. The discipline required is actually minimal. I've seen many people take this approach only to continue with their dodgy eating habits, skip in the gym or hit that snooze button. But the biggest hurdle they hit is when they reactivate their accounts. So many just pick up where they left off. Hours lost to mindless scrolling, losing their precious free time to allow being sucked back into the social media void. So I adopted a method that tested my discipline and gave me full conscious control over my usage of these apps for the long term. I did this by keeping all apps on my phone open and notifications enabled. This unconventional strategy required sheer willpower to resist the urge to mindlessly scroll through Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and others. So did I succeed? The initial 24 hours were undeniably challenging as a subconscious habit of reaching from my phone persisted. The urge to check these apps seemed almost instinctive, but by persevering through the first 48 hours, the grip of this compulsion gradually weakened. Overcoming the initial hurdles, I discovered a newfound sense of control, witnessing a decline in anxiety and a heightened presence in everyday moments. The greatest benefit was more sense of mindfulness and presence with my children. No longer was there an urge to pointlessly look at my phone and take away my focus from them. And trust me, kids notice these things. The quality of time spent with them increased and therefore so did our connection. As the two week hiatus unfolded, the need to engage with social media diminished substantially. However, I knew the real challenge was gonna be reintegrating these apps back into my daily routine. From the moment I dived back in, I made a conscious effort to curate my social media experience, choosing to follow only close friends and individuals who provided valuable information. I developed a heightened self-awareness, catching myself before mindless scrolling could take hold. And as a content creator, I wanted to, to avoid passive consumption, so I redirected my focus towards researching ideas and finding inspiration for my channel, making sure that the majority of the time spent on these apps was moving me closer to my goals. By the end of the two weeks, the benefits of the detox were evident. I had developed a conscious approach to social media usage, making intentional choices about what and how I consumed. However, I've acknowledged that there is still this persistent urge to break my newfound presence. And from time to time, I do fall back into the old habit. So I've come to recognize the necessity of implementing semi-regular complete breaks, perhaps one or two weeks every few months. This ongoing commitment ensures that we remain in control of these platforms over the long term, harnessing their potential for productivity rather than succumbing to their addictive distractions. Now, I'll admit, I believe I was able to be successful with this method because I'm generally a disciplined person, though that was not always the case. I train regularly, eat well, I'm committed to improving myself as a father, husband, YouTuber, and all round human. So if you're someone who lacks that general level of discipline, this method will probably come as a big challenge. In this case, I recommend starting off by going down the traditional route of temporarily logging out and deleting the apps. 
Once you feel you've mastered that approach, then give this method a try. And always remember this, if at some point you give in and don't reach your allocated time away, you're still one step closer to mastering control over these apps. Just start again when ready. Best of luck. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, I recommend this one I did a while ago. I think you really enjoy it.